A good massage can do wonders after a hard workout, but what if you can't find the time to find someone who can give you that rub down? Turns out that with a couple of simple tools, you can look good and feel great on your own. Lorraine Cachola is here to explain. Lorraine? Well, thanks, Joe. And if your back and shoulders hurt, a massage may be just what you need. The good news is that working out those kinks and spasms can be done all on your own with a few simple tools. And here to help us with that is personal trainer Wendy Holmes. Thanks for joining us, Wendy. Thanks for having me. Now, you do, you have a few simple tools here, and these can actually help us get a massage. I know, they look just like tennis balls, and they are. Um, what we're seeing with some of this sports massage that's been around for a while are using some of the tools um, that you can get equipment, and we can massage, do massage ourselves. Um, I've been, I would recommend that like, you maybe work with a professional um, to, to get the exercises or get a good book to guide you. There's not many of them, but they work really well and they feel great. Right, so show me what we can do with these. Okay, so what you do, and we've done this before on, our, on, our, on another show of ours um, on Smart Medicine. We've used a tennis ball, you know, we've taken our shoe off and you rub it on the bottom of your foot. And what you do is just keep going back and forth and any part that might be tender, you really press down and hold it there. And then what I have here is two tennis balls. I've used some athletic tape and I've taped them together. And again, you can use this in other areas of the back and neck. And we'll yeah, demonstrate like that. that. Yeah, so let's yeah. go all the way to the mat. And the good news is, you, I mean, for you, you might, you, you put it under your neck and you just kind of lie down there and you might not feel any major tension. So you, it's not like you're like, oh my goodness, this feels great. But for others that have neck issues, they might really feel uh, a release in the neck muscles. Um, another area you can do is you can remove it from the neck and go a little bit more down into your back, right in the center of your back. Oh, so uh, yeah. like right there. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's going to hurt our dick. Yeah, yeah you can see. Oh, yeah. yeah, and because, see, now we're talking, it's such a small, the, the tennis ball is such a small space. And you can hold your head there with your, yeah, and just kind of feel the muscles right there, ease around the ball. And what, we're, what we've got going on is deep compression of the muscle tissue. And so that allows um, really to press on it. And so the knots and spasms have a chance to, to relax. And then the muscle, it actually starts to feel better after I that can, feeling I so good. I can feel it like getting warm, actually, <laughs> yeah. right now. Okay, I've also brought a foam roller, and we've used this in other segments for balancing and different things, but today we're going to use it to massage the legs. So let's put, um, let's do your lower legs. Everyone always seems to feel pretty tender in this area okay. because we wear flip-flops or we wear high heels or shoes that aren't always comfortable for our feet. So you're in the correct position. You're going to cross one leg over. And we're going to so lean back here. You are going to lean back, and what you're going to, the bottom leg that's on here is what's going to feel the tension of this exercise. Now lift your glutes off the mat and then kind of just roll. That's right, back and forth from like the knee um, down to the lower part right and above your ankle. Should this be hurting? It should be hurting. Now, and now that you've gone through the whole leg, go to a part on the leg that feels yes. really hard and hang there for 30 seconds. Okay. I won't make you quite stay there today, but you get the idea of when you stay there for that long, eventually it's going to release the tension and it's going to feel better. So eventually it shouldn't hurt so much if you're doing this regularly. Right. And so what this is like, it's called a regeneration exercise, a regeneration workout. Um, and even those that are training um, for maybe certain events or they're actually incorporating this as one of their workout days because it's so good and healthy for our muscles. It's allowing them to have better workouts. Great. So is there anything else that I can do with this besides you, the Oh, I, I, you, you can actually um, uh, get in on, the, on your hamstring. So come all the way up. Okay. Yes, from there. And start just at the glute area and roll towards your knee. That's right and then back this way. And it looks like your, your muscles are moving easier on this one. They're not quite as tight in your hamstrings. Yes, it's not hurting. This just feels really good. But I, I can see after doing this, this is something that I'm going to want to continue doing. So um, where would I find this? Well, what you can do is I have, um, I'm starting to see them in the big box stores. And they are a little bit more expensive there. I'm seeing them at $25 to $40 in those stores. But if you're willing to go online, you can get them for about $15 to $20. And um, so that's, you know, I don't want you to overpay for them when you can get them online. But some people like to just buy them locally, and that's fine. Well, thanks for showing us such simple tools that we can use at home to give ourselves a massage. That's, that's right, to keep you working key. out. Yes, thanks so much. You're welcome. Team. And join us next time for more ways to look good and feel great.